How's it going guys? I wanted to come on here and make a short video about how I have been editing my videos as of recently. I've made quite a few changes over the past couple of years that have actually significantly sped up my edits to the point where I think that you guys can take some value from this. First off, I just have to let you guys know that I'm editing in Premiere. I actually don't use Final Cut even though I am on a Mac, but Adobe's dynamic link is just way too good for me to switch. So that is why I'm on Premiere. So if you're a Final Cut user, I'm sorry. Anyways, let's get into it, starting with the boring stuff, though it is very important, file structure. So I used to be one of those guys that would just take every single file I recorded and dumped it into one singular folder. And that worked okay when I was doing stuff for myself, but the second I started doing client projects and bigger projects, that system just falls apart. So now when I import footage, I always make a file structure like this. A main folder with a footage name and date, then inside of that folder, separate folders for all of the different assets. For me, a typical project would have an ACAM folder, BCAM, drone, assets, audio, and project files. If the project's bigger or I use other cameras, I would obviously make other folders for those things. The main idea here is just to keep everything organized. And huge pro tip, when you're downloading assets from the internet, internet immediately put them into their proper folder. Don't just drag them into your project from your downloads folder or whatever it may be. That is how links get broken. If you remove it from your downloads folder, suddenly your project files corrupt and you need to start fiddling and replacing files. No fun. Next up is your Premiere workspace. Now this is definitely a bit more personal preference, but this is how mine's set up and I found that it works the best for me. My workspace is essentially split into two sections, the top and the bottom. Along the top and starting from the left, I have my clip bin. Then beside Beside that, I have my source monitor, and beside that, I have my playback monitor. Then going on to the bottom row, I have my effects pane and my timeline. So your footage is organized and your workspace is set up. Now you're ready to work. So to import footage, it's pretty simple. I take that file structure that we created earlier and make sure that it's on the correct hard drive. Then I just grab the name and date folder, the main folder, and drag it right into my Premiere Pro clip bin. And because we had organized previously, all of the bins and folders are set up. So moving on to the edit, my workflow actually changes slightly depending on the project that I'm editing. But I'd say like 90% of the time I'm editing stuff with a talking headpiece, something like this, and then B-roll slotted over top of that. So to do something like that, this is how I go about it. So the first thing that I do is make a new sequence. So you just go to file, new, sequence. I'll open my A-roll folder, select the very top clip, and then hold shift and select the very bottom clip. Then I'll press the automate to sequence button and paste it all into the timeline. Next up, I'll drag any external audio that the A-roll clips have. Generally, I'm recording with something like this, like a boom mic that is hardwired into the camera. But if I'm not doing that and I'm using something like a lav setup, I'll drag the audio from the clip in under the A-roll. Then I'll highlight the A-roll clip itself, the A-roll clips audio, and the lav audio. Then all you have to do is right click and click synchronize and then Premiere will work some magic and sync up the two clips. Then you can just trim around it and replace the old audio with the new audio and link those two clips. So once your A-roll is all laid out with the correct audio and ready to go, we can start chopping. So with your playhead at the very beginning of the timeline, you're going to scrub through the footage using a few keyboard shortcuts. Q, L, C, and spacebar. And I believe the only custom shortcut there is C, and I actually set C up as the add edit tool. So you can just go into your keyboard shortcuts and change that if you want. All it means is wherever the playhead is, when I press C, it chops the selected footage. So anyways, from the beginning of the timeline, I'll start off by pressing L a couple times. And what L does is speed up your playhead so you can go through the footage at two or three times speed. Depending on your computer, you may have to decrease the playback quality. I usually do a quarter or a half and that works fine for me. So paying attention to what I'm seeing in the playback monitor and also the audio waveforms on the bottom, I'll play back at two or three times speed until I hear the take that I like. Once I hear a good take, I will pause. I'll just use my mouse to jump my playback head to the beginning of that take. Then once you're at the beginning of the take that you like, all you're gonna do is press Q, which will ripple delete everything to the left of your playhead, everything before the good take, up to the last cut that you made. Then I listen to that line at normal speed to make sure I like it, and when I get to the end of it, I'll press C to insert a cut. 
Then I just repeat that process and when I get to the beginning of the next good take, I'll press Q and it will only delete back to that cut that we made at the end of the last clip. So you do this a couple times over and by the end of it, you're left with a rough cut of your A-roll. Now just a quick note, like I said, my editing style definitely changes depending on the project that I'm dealing with. This works really well for a scripted interview or something like this where I know what I'm going to be saying and what my story is. But if you're making something like a documentary or working with an off the cuff interview, you're not going to want to delete those middle portions because you don't know exactly what your story is going to be. So in that case, what I would do is just color code the select clips rather than deleting all the garbage. I would just color code the select clip so I know which clips I like. Next up is the internet's favorite thing, B-roll. I don't know what it is. Everyone just loves B-roll. So the first thing that I do is create a new sequence for the B-roll. This is actually where I have improved the most when it comes to my editing speed. I used to take forever to deal with B-roll and sort through all the clips that I like, but this method flies you through it like it's nothing. So to start it off, you go into your bin and you go into your B-roll folder and you'll select the top one, then hold shift and select the very bottom clip. And rather than putting them into the timeline this time, you're going to drag all of those selected clips onto your source monitor. Now that all your b-roll is pre-loaded into the source monitor you can just fly through this stuff there's no custom keyboard shortcuts for this all we're going to be using is l i o comma and shift plus two so just as we did earlier you're going to press l a couple times to speed up your playhead as you go through the footage then when you find the piece that you like you're going to press space to pause then you're going to press I to set an endpoint. Then you're gonna press L a couple times to speed it up and pause when you wanna cut the clip. Then all you have to do is press O to set an out point. Then you're gonna press comma, which drops the in and out point clip directly into your timeline at your playhead. If there's a couple parts of that clip that you want, all you have to do is keep pressing L, then press a new I and a new O and press comma again, and that will drop the second part into the timeline. Now to get to your next clip, rather than going into your bin and clicking things because that takes too long, waste of time, all you're going to do is press shift and two. And once you press shift and two, you're going to immediately cycle to the next clip where you can do the L and then the I, the O, the comma, and then shift two again and just run through your B-roll like it's nothing. Using this, I've honestly gone through like two hours of B-roll and maybe 20 to 30 minutes. Like it's so fast. And the beautiful thing is, is you're left with an entire timeline of select good B-roll that you can use to complement your A-roll. So now that we have our A-roll selects and our B-roll selects, we are ready to start finalizing the video and putting it all together. So we're gonna create one more sequence and that's going to be our final version sequence. So just file, sequence, new, and call it final. So generally what I'll do is I'll stack two Two timelines on top of each other. So the final and the A-roll first, in which I'll copy the A-roll footage into the final timeline. I do that so I can edit it, cut it, and manipulate it in the final timeline, but I always have that cut down first version to go back to if something goes wrong. So that part's pretty easy. Close out of your A-roll timeline, and next up, stack your B-roll timeline below your final timeline. And this is kind of where it all comes together. Generally, I'll start spacing out my A-roll footage, putting it chronologically how I want the story to unfold. Then I'll start dragging select clips from my b-roll timeline into my a-roll timeline to start filling out the story and there it is dudes that is my premiere pro workflow and that is how i go from beginning to end on a typical client project on any sort of client project i will follow this to a t sometimes even adding extra things depending on the scope but this is generally like this is a bang on workflow for getting through projects quickly efficiently and keeping them organized if you learned anything or you have any Premiere Pro tips yourself for editing, please, please, please leave them down below and let me know. I'm always trying to figure out new ways to improve or speed up different things. Other than that though, thank you so much for watching my dudes. I appreciate every single one of you so much. I'll see you all in another one.